Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my preview update of the Series 8 McFarland Toys Walking Dead action figures. The actual figures were shown off at San Diego Comic Con. I got some pictures of them and my thoughts on them. A lot of the pictures I found on the Walking Dead action figure memorabilia page on Facebook. And one of the members, Noah Botica, I think that's how you say his name, he um, got some really good shots of them. And also got some pictures from toyark.com website and also the Toy News International website. That's some nice pictures. And also, I got some pictures of an updated 10 inch Michonne that was showed off. The Season 5 Deluxe Blu ray statue by McFarlane Toys was also shown off. Finally, it's just really awesome. And, uh, well, here we go. Okay, let's start off with Rick. And this is one of the pictures that Noah Botica. This is one of his pictures. And I really like this Rick. I like the head sculpt and I really like the jacket. I think the jacket looks really nice on him. And the legs kind of look like the same legs from the Series 6 Rick, which is fine because they were good. But uh, I do really like this. At first, I didn't really think I'd care too much about this Rick, but I do really like it. The jacket is just awesome. And he comes with the red, red handle machete, which is cool. And there's Bob Stucky. And I really like the sculpt on his face. It looks really good. There's something weird about the paint in his eyes. I don't know. It almost looks like he has one eye open wide and the other one squinting. <laughs> but I think that's just the paint. But the sculpt looks pretty cool on his whole body, really. But uh, yeah, I think his face is one of the better face sculpts. And I really like his charred up leg down there. That's really awesome. And there you can see his removable stump down there. It's pretty cool. Looks like he has another knife or something that's tucked down into his pants, which doesn't look like it's removable. And he's supposed to have another machete, but I don't see any here. And there's Tyrese with his bloody arm. And I'm not sure if his arm is supposed to look like that. Like, it doesn't look like it's attached. I know it's removable because Michonne cuts it off. Eh, maybe they're just, they just have it slightly separated so you can see that it's removable. I don't know. But that would suck if you couldn't make it go all the way together. And he comes with his hammer, of course. He comes with a backpack. And that little geo or whatever the little rock thing is that he hits a walker with. And I really like the blood effect on him. I like how it's like kind of sprayed onto his shirt and pants. It's just a really cool repainted figure. And there's some slight re-sculpting with that arm. But I'm guessing this is probably going to be one of them exclusive, like at Walgreens or Target or something. And here's Carol. This one, I don't know. There's, I have a couple problems with this one. For one, the main problem is the poncho, which at first I thought I wouldn't really want a cloth one, but now that I'm seeing what they did with the plastic, like they had to make the spaces for our arms really big so you can actually move our arms around. But it just looks really weird. It doesn't lay naturally on her. So I think it would have been better if they would have made it out of cloth. And the face, well, they put the the mud and guts on her face and I guess that looks alright. But another problem I have with this is that it looks like she's like she still has the, the Series 6 paint job on her clothes underneath. Like she's got the pink shirt on and that's not the clothes she wore underneath of this poncho so that bothers me. And she does come with that big rifle that she uses so that's really cool and it's got a big strap on it. And she also comes with Daryl's crossbow. And a few people pointed out that this crossbow looks a little different than the one that comes with Daryl. And I'm not sure why. Someone said it was a repainted Series 1 Daryl's crossbow. But I don't know. There's something different about that. But I do like the blood and guts that are hanging on the poncho. I just, I really think it should have been maybe cloth instead. That just looks odd. And there's Dale. This is a figure I was really happy about. And uh, it looks decent in the body, I think. The body looks really good. I think it looks like his body shape and everything. Did a good job with the on the shirt with the Hawaiian type pattern on it. And I like the binoculars with the strap around his neck. I really like the lawn chair they got there. The main problem I have is the face, and I think it's the paint. It just it just makes him have a weird expression. I don't know if they're trying to give him Dell face and it just didn't work out because it looks weird. The hat looks a little big because it's removable. So I don't know. I might have preferred if you could just switch the heads. A hat head and a, and a no hat head would might have been better. But still, that's all right. I'm pretty happy they made this figure. Oh, another thing that bugs me, I hope they fix it, is the pegs in his legs, like his hips, they're a different color than his pant legs. They really stand out. So hopefully they paint them. And here's Eugene in right gear. 
And now that I'm actually seeing the figure where he's in ride gear, more than ever, I wish he was not in ride gear. I wish he was in his shorts and, you know, the regular clothes that he usually wears. I just do not like the day him in ride gear. I mean, it can make for a lot of custom figures that you want to make. It'd be good for that, but really, I just, I just don't want him in ride gear. Um, the helmet accessory is pretty cool, though. I like that. I'm not too happy with the face, either. I like that he's got his mullet. The mullet looks good, but I don't know if I like the face. And there's the Morgan figure. And you can see that they displayed him a couple of different ways at this show. He had his mask on, and then they put the hood on him. And I think that looks really cool. I mean, the hood does look a little big when you stick it on top of the mask, but still, I do like it. I think it's cool. There's not a whole lot of good pictures of his face sculpt, but from what you can see, I think it looks really good. And there's the one in the two-pack. I kind of wish they had the, the female walker out on display so you can see it a little better, because that's the one I'm really excited out of that excited to get out of that two-pack since Morgan's got his single figure and it looks like they switched what they're originally gonna do originally I think it was supposed to be the two-pack Morgan was bloody and the single version was clean but it looks like they switched that around so that now the single figure is bloody and the two-pack Morgan is clean but I do like this figure it comes with the snake eyes mask the removable hood and his walking stick some guns also, just like on the Dale figure, it looks like the pegs in his arms are not painted to match the rest of his suit there. And that could just be because he's a prototype figure or something. Maybe they'll be painted in the final version. That would be nice. And there's the painted Michonne 10-inch figure. And once again, I'm not too happy with the way they painted her boots. See, I think this time it looks a little more like dirt on her boots than it did on the, the original Series 3 Michonne figure. Because in the original Series 3, it just looked like she had brown shoes. But on this one, it does kind of look like it's black shoes. It's got dirt and dust all over them. But still, it makes them look light colored. And I think I would rather them be, you know, more of a darker black. So I'll probably repaint that when I get it. Also, I once again, I don't like the color of the pants. Because I don't think her pants were blue like that. I think they're more like a gray. So I'd rather they be gray. And also, like most people said, the pose is just awkward. I don't like the stance she's doing. She just looks like she's going to swing a baseball bat. I think I like the guarding pose, where you can switch your arms, take them out, and it's more of a guarded pose. I like that better. But still, it's just awkward the way her legs are. And there's the Season 5 Deluxe Blu-ray. I was starting to think they weren't going to release one this year, because this is because the last few years they showed it like way before this. I think this one, if you displayed them all together, would look a little weird next to them because it's just so flat. It's going to look short. But just by itself, I really like it. I like the way his guts are just melted all over the place and the way his legs are just flesh hanging off of him. And it looks like the flesh is just melting off of his back. It just looks really cool. And I like the little severed head laying there with the spine sticking out. And you can see the Blu-ray slides out of the bottom, which is really cool. Now this is a life-size display I think they had at San Diego Comic-Con, and I kind of wish they made this into the Blu-ray Deluxe instead of that other one. I do like the Melted Zombie, but I think I would have liked this zombie better. Like, the Blu-ray could have been in that wall in the back. I think that would have been cooler. Of course, you would have to put water in it. <laughs> Unless they just sculpted water, I don't know. And here's the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive comic book Michonne. And... I really like this. First picture I seen, I was happy they're making a new Michonne, but I wasn't sure if I liked the sculpt and everything, but after seeing some more pictures of it, I do really like it. It looks like it's a really cool, badass looking figure. I do look. I do really like the outfit. It's a lot different than, you know, like, especially a lot different than the TV show versions of Michonne. I'm really happy about this one. Like I said in the other preview video, you can get it in black and white and bloody version or colored version. And if you're not a San Diego Comic Con, then... You could order it off the Skybound website after the Comic-Con is over. Now the Series 8 figures and the Michonne 10-inch, I think they're all supposed to come out around October. Last year for Series 6, there was a, they were delayed due to shipping problems. So hopefully they'll come out on time this year, but sometime around October they should come out. There's also this alternate version of Daryl, the Daryl Gravedigger figure, and I think think this is an exclusive or I'm not sure if it's exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con or what the deal is with this but as you can see it comes with extra accessories like a little mini display and he comes with a bigger in a bigger package and I think that looks really cool I'm not sure exactly how to get that one but they do have some of the Daryl Gravedigger regular package versions on sale at the Walgreens around San Diego Comic-Con right now 
and I would imagine within a few weeks they should be at other Walgreens, hopefully. Man, I hate Walgreens, man. I hate it. So that's my preview of the Series 8 figures and Blu-ray set and all that crap. Well, I shouldn't say crap because I love that stuff. But yeah, once I get all those figures and back around October, I'll do a review of them. And Michonne comic series exclusive. I should have that sooner. Like maybe within a few weeks, hopefully. And I'll do a review of that. Okay, this is Mystery with Cheese. Thanks for watching. I'm back. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh.